Well, I did a remix of Intellecta Castle, because obviously it's 20 years ago today, to quote the Beatles. And um, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, I have uh, 5.1 in my studio now. And I was thinking like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to hear Electric Castle in 5.1? Because it's the perfect album. I mean, I, I've been talking about all the special effects, you know, you can put all these effects in the back, you know, the water drops and then you have this alien voice which comes from the middle and then you have all these singers who are answering each other, whoop, and the singers in the back. So I really felt like doing a 5.1 for Electric Castle. Well, the big differences between uh, the remix I did and the original um, is uh, that, that I, on, on the tracks I actually found stuff that I didn't use. And I was like, well, why not use it this time, you know, just to make it different. So they're all tiny little, if you know the album, you hear all the little difference I made uh, for the remix. So when, when I did Electric Castle, I was like, uh, I don't want to use computers on this one, you know. I, I, everything has to be organic, everything has to be real. And that was quite a challenge, you know. Because, as I said, we came out of the 80s where you had these big drum sounds and now you go back to real drums and will we do it? But I was like, uh, a prince, it was a principal matter like, okay, I want to stick to, uh, to all the original real sounds and I want this production to be really transparent. For instance, in the song Evil Devolution, there's, you hear this bubbly sound, which is supposed to be this, this uh, freaky Frankenstein laboratory, you know? <laughs> and I actually achieved that by, by getting a vacuum cleaner tube, you know, and like this big bowl where I threw all the flowers out and put the thing in and ooh, ooh, just blow it and get all these mics there turning red and stuff like that. So yeah, all those weird effects you hear on the album, and I made them myself. Well, some people ask me if I consider Electric Castle to be a classic album. And people know me to be a modest guy. <laughs> you know, I, always, I know my own limitations and I always, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at that. But uh, Electric Castle is a damn classic album. And God damn, I'm really proud of it. And I think it, it really stands out for me. You know, now that I'm doing the remix, I'm noticing how good it is. <laughs> you know? So yeah, I think it's a classic album. Go. Cool.